attorney. I've been a country lawyer in this little town of Polson for 33 years, which is on Flathead Lake. I'd heard there had been sightings, but I didn't really pay any attention to it. I think I was a skeptic, although there wasn't really any explanation, too, for some of the sightings. So I didn't know. That skepticism would be tested one summer afternoon out on the lake. After work, we were out there. It was a calm day. Uh, there was a light breeze, but no waves. It was a beautiful day, and there, was, there were no other boats on the whole bay. We tried to start the boat up, and the battery was dead. It's a helpless feeling being out in the middle of the water like that. We called my daughter, who she and her, her husband had a boat. While we were waiting for them to come to rescue us, we were just laying on the boat, kind of relaxing, and there were no other boats out there. There were no people there, but we heard slapping on the water, loud slapping. Not like someone diving in, but something heavy slapping the water. It was like, like that. And it was close enough that I could tell it was close. We froze and we just stared and watched. Look at it. The first feeling I had seeing it was just shock. I knew I was seeing it, but it's so unbelievable to think about it. As we're watching, this thing starts moving. And, and it was moving super slow, and we could see humps out of the water. It was like a serpent, didn't see a head, just the body. What we saw was probably as long as our boat, which was 24 feet, and that's kind of freaky, that, that you have something out there that might be twice as big as your boat swimming below you. As we were watching it, beyond it, here came our daughter, she and her husband. They're coming directly toward us in their boat. And I was going like this, trying to get them to look at it, and they thought I was waving, and they were, they were just waving like this. And as they came on toward it, it just slowly slipped back, slipped down in the water, and disappeared. <laughs> 